process of Brexit. The entire world is watching to see how the country will continue to maintain its bilateral relations with other countries. One of the strategies the UK has used over the years is a soft power strategy of educational scholarships. Would this remain an effective tool for bilateral relations with other countries in the long run? One in seven world leaders studied in the UK, BBC says. The UK's commitment towards quality education is a strong feature in its soft power strategy. Known for its highly ranked educational institutions globally, the country prides itself as the place where future leaders study and has for decades continually expanded its international educational programs through scholarships to enhance its influence abroad. Its three main scholarship schemes include the Commonwealth, Shivni and Marshall Scholarship. The 35-year-old Shivni Scholarship Scheme is the UK government's largest international scholarship program. It is aimed at creating lasting positive relationships with future leaders, influencers and decision makers in priority countries. Um, one, of the, one of the reasons behind the scholarship program is for, to give you all the opportunity to come here to experience the UK, to, to come to UK universities. The scholarship program that we have for, for Chevening in the United Kingdom has been running for many years. It's hugely important to us in terms of reaching out across the world to champion the excellence of British universities but also to engage young talent, the brightest minds, the best future leaders from across the world to encourage and support them so that they can come to the United Kingdom, they can carry out their masters here, they can build a relationship with colleagues and they can then go back home understanding better the United Kingdom, the relationship with their home country. By uprooting themselves and moving to the UK for at least a year, scholars benefit from an immersive cultural experience, offering insights into the UK's political, sociocultural makeup and opportunities to develop English language skills, in addition to the academic knowledge and skills they gain from their studies. The evening opportunity is definitely one that, uh, that is very unique. It is it is something that gives me an opportunity to learn from the best in the field, uh, to interact with classmates and fellow scholars who come from all over the world. It's a testimony of 10 years wanting to do my, my, my master's program from graduating in 2008 to completing the master in 2018. And without Chivling, it wouldn't have been possible. So I'm beyond grateful for that opportunity to be here at the right place at the right time. It's very difficult to get visa and to study in UK while you are in Yemeni or in, in any other country. So it's really, it's really a big opportunity for, for me. Dissenting views say that there is a hidden agenda within the lofty goals of this scholarship scheme. The Center for Research on Globalization, an independent research and media organization based in Montreal, published an article written by five activists and journalists Joseph Thomas. The article refers to the beneficiaries of the scheme as agents of British influence. A 2016 KPMG evaluation of the scheme also suggests that the UK makes more money from the scholarship scheme than it invests in it, thereby reducing it to a mere economic venture. This does not take away the fact that the scholarship scheme has produced very notable world leaders, such as the former Prime Minister of Bulgaria, the current president of Costa Rica, Kane Prize winner from Nigeria, and Minister of Trade and Investment for Botswana. But what does the future hold for this scholarship scheme in a post-Brexit situation? When we've left the European Union, there will be a change. And so I'm hopeful that we will see uh, a renewed determination to use our scholarship programs like Chevening to continue to reach out because it doesn't change Britain's place in the world and we are determined to remain an outward-looking, positive, global partner uh, reflecting our history, but also, more importantly, reflecting where we want to go in the future. Whatever the case may be, there's no denying that the UK keeps taking giant strides in international development through education. As the popular saying goes, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. 
Anu Adelakun, reporting for SNC News.